Gentlemen, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Coach, start with your opening statement. Um, it's really good to get a win today. Players worked really hard for the whole week, and uh, we really sort of dedicated our time to just figuring it out mentally, and today they went out and performed. Um, really proud of their effort. Um, I know Pace, although they didn't win today, uh, they've done an outstanding job as well. You fell behind early 2 nothing. What were some of those opening looks they were giving you, and especially just to not let them set the tone, be able to rally and have your players play the way they have all season? Yeah, um, we didn't get off to a good start like we did last time we played them. Um, but that said, you know, our guys never stopped believing in each other. And uh, that was a true testament to the way they just continued to battle. The defense became a brick wall for us. Dylan played fantastic. And um, we were really, uh, you know, we really uh, looked to take high quality shots. And so looks were there that we didn't take. Um, and then that when they started dropping, I think we got some confidence. And then we won the you know, face off, which we haven't done all year in the third quarter. And, and I think that helped us along the way as well. Thanks. I guess for uh, Dylan, um, you see those banners hanging behind the bench. Mm -hmm. it, do the, what do those symbolize to you? Is, is it the standard for uh, Adelphi lacrosse? I mean, of course, like when you look at schools on Long Island, obviously this is a very hotbed place for lacrosse, and Adelphi has been one of those prestigious programs for years and years to come. So, I mean, every day when you see those things, it's something that's expected out of us, and we expect it out of ourselves. And I guess for Kyle, you guys are going back to the Final Four, I think, first time since 2017. What does that mean for this group? I mean, it means a lot. We, uh, we started off in, um, in the preseason with a rough schedule, playing some top D1 schools, and this group came a long way. Um, we battled, we've been through adversity, we lost in the beginning, but we came together, we did what we had to do, we've been working hard in practice, the coach has been doing a good job preparing us, so it means a lot that we're at this stage, but we're not done yet, so. And I guess for Coach, um, do you think you guys kind of took control of the game in that third quarter? Like they, they went up, I guess, they cut the lead to one and you just ripped off four straight goals there in about seven minutes. Yeah, I mean, lacrosse can be seen as, a, you know, uh, getting a run is important to us. And that just gave us additional confidence to know that, uh, you know, you can take some shots maybe that you weren't taking earlier. And I think that, as I said, the, uh, the face-offs were key in that quarter. Um, in winning that quarter, I think it gave us extra opportunities, and we made the most of those. And not, not exactly along the same lines, uh, Braden's obviously a freshman. What did he do to kind of earn your trust that you keep putting him out there in these si in important situations? Uh, well, he didn't start. You know, earlier on in the season, he earned that starting spot as the season went on. But he has been consistent in practices. He has an incredible, um, you know, knowledge of where the next ball should go to make us better. And so, you know, while he may have stuck a couple coming around the corner today, that's not all he does. He just makes us better by the way he moves it, finds looks, and. Uh, and he pushes himself in practice. So even as a freshman, uh, we're real happy to have him on the field. And you know, there's not too many people, although he didn't get any acknowledge in the Northeast 10, I really think he's a, a big time player that's gonna help us down the stretch. And Braden, for you, just how do you view your role on this team? Uh, I view my role as someone to distribute the ball and keep the offense flowing. Uh, we all move the ball really nice, we move well together. And that's why our offense clicks and scores goals. I'm going to jump in. He'll say he can move the ball, but he came around that corner three times today and stuck it. And he did not take many shots as well. If I'm wrong, I think he took maybe four, five shots, and he start, his percentage today was awesome. Really proud of his efforts. And I guess for, um, for Dylan, what is it like playing behind this group when, they, when they're generating offense the way, the way they are? Um, I mean, it definitely helps all sides of the field, you know, offense, they're moving it, they're scoring defense. Kind of gives us the confidence just to know, like, listen, we aren't always going to be perfect and we can't always be perfect. If we mess up, we know they're going to get one and have our backs. It also helps us play a lot more freely, knowing that we can give up a goal if God forbid something happens. 
I'll jump in. Defensively, holding this team to under 10 goals is is a great effort. And Coach Volpe's done an outstanding job with this team and Danny Gill preparing them every game to be the best defense we can be with what we have. Brandon, if I could jump in real quick. I want to talk about your first goal. I want to go back to the first quarter. Um, <clears throat> your team that coming in was ranked in the top five in the country, fewest turnovers allowed per game. You had four in the first quarter to start as a team. Uh, you come back and get that goal with about three minutes left in the first quarter. Did you feel your team had a little bit, even as a freshman for yourself, right? Do you feel that your team had a little bit of those first quarter jitters and your goal just kind of sparked everybody a little bit? Uh, not really. I think we just couldn't finish the ball, start, and then we got we got one in, then we just kept flowing, kept playing together. Kyle, I'll go over to you for a second here. Tell me a little bit about your performance and what you were seeing out there on the field today. Well, I mean, on the scoreboard it says, or on the stat sheet it says I have four goals, but those four goals don't happen without all five guys around me moving and, you know, getting out of each other's way, zipping the ball. You know, we did that. We worked on it in practice a lot, and it really showed today how we were moving together and playing for each other. So, yeah, we played great together as six, and if we do that, we keep doing that, we're going to be... Being good shape. Gordon, uh, I think on the broadcast today they had mentioned that they've never seen a team that can not do so well at the faceoff backs, but just make it all work and still be that successful. Uh, as you look back on the team so far to this point, as you're going to the national semis, what has made your team successful from the top down this year? I think that possibly not winning a faceoff the last time we played St. Days and winning one the fa yeah. time we, the, you know, the time before that, we just know that on offense we need to value it more. On defense, we just need to play as good as we can play. And I think that actually raises our level of play. We go into games knowing that we need to, every possession for us is going to be important. Every possession is going to be key. And I think not having, you know, a winning face-off record is just teaching us the value of that. And we, we know that going into games. And I think that's making us a better team. You're going to your first Final Four since 2017. What does that mean to you and the guys around you that are playing like uh, that? We sat in this very room yesterday, and players sort of spoke of what this team meant to each other. And while um, you know you could look back and say it's been a while, this, this team has worked so well together this year and come together through some adversity. You know, like Kyle said earlier, playing some top, top, you know, 15 Division I teams taught us a lot about ourselves and taught us how much we need to rely on each other. And I think that, you know, I think these, these guys have sort of taken that to heart and it's made our practices better. And I think that we've become a smarter team. And I think, you know, now going into another Final Four, they've earned it. They've truly earned it. Renner, I'm going to go over to you for the last question. Being that you're a senior, what does it mean to you to have the opportunity to know that you're one win away from playing for a national championship? I mean, honestly, like it means everything. Like this is this is the goal. And this is the dream. You, I mean, as a younger kid, you think about the chances of actually being able to get to that championship. And now that it's a possibility, you just know you got to work even harder and do everything you can, leave everything out on the field, especially that this could be your last game ever. Dennis, good. Well, I thought the first one. Um, you guys were part of a historic team, first NCAA tournament win in program history. I know it didn't go your way today, but how does it feel to have your names in the pace record? history books. Well, you go next. Okay. Uh, honestly, I mean, it, uh, to us seniors that have been playing since like our freshman year, we've always said like this is something we wanted to do. We made a promise like since our freshman year that we wanted to make a run for the tournament. We want to make a run for getting a championship ring. Unfortunately, it didn't go our way today, but we're so happy for how far we've come as people and as players. It was super special for me. Uh, it was my first and my only year here, but I got welcomed into the group pretty quickly and uh, really realized the goal um, that we set for ourselves at the beginning of the season quickly as well. And to see it all come to a final culmination here, um, making an NCAA tournament run was super fun and super special to us as seniors who probably have all been playing for the better half of 15 years and uh, get to go out, you know, maybe not on the highest of note, but can hold our chins up high. I mean, I think, you know, from day one, I think the senior group had made a decision, hey, we're going to stick together, we're going to play together. Did that all year. You know, unfortunately, this time of the year, there's only going to be one team happy in two weeks. Everybody else is going to go home upset, but certainly proud of the effort of this group, you know, just day in and day out, doing the academics, the athletic, you know, 
interviews, jobs as seniors, you know, Max is an RA, like the internships these guys have, but super proud of their effort, certainly on and off the field. Coach, these are two teams, you, yourself and Adelphi, two teams certainly familiar with each other from playing in the NE10. Um, you had a chance to, you were causing turnovers early, had a chance to really keep Adelphi on their heels. Was that all part of that scouting report coming in? Yeah, I mean, I think it was, you know, sometimes when you play a team a bunch, you know, it's really just down to execution. It's the little things. You know, I don't think either team did anything that the other team didn't know they were going to do, but it's just the execution of it. And I thought there was moments that executed, you know, just kind of when they needed to. And, you know, we executed at times, but not consistent enough. I think for us, it's, you know, you just have the feeling like we didn't play 60 minutes, had some opportunities, but certainly all the credit to Adelphi for, you know, having the year they're having of just, they've been consistent of making plays when they needed. Max 16 for 26 at the faceoff X. I'm sure coming in, you knew that Adelphi not as successful at the faceoff X. You had the opportunity to control that possession right away. How did you feel of your performance and your team's performance today? Um, <clears throat> I'd say personally, I definitely could have played better. I knew there was uh, they were going to be really scrappy and not try to let me go like out the front and go to the net a lot. I know they probably were scouting a lot. They know I, I like to shoot and push the net, so I'm, I'm sure their game plan was kind of just to stop me from doing that. And uh, I was just trying to do as best I can, helping out our offense, doing anything I can to win every faceoff. Ryan, or second quarter, you guys guys get a couple of EMOs back to back. Can't really cash in on that. Turns into an Adelphi goal the other way. Where did you feel the turning point was in today's game for you and your team? It could have been just that. Uh, the ball got stale. and We weren't drawing the slides we were in the first quarter. The ball movement wasn't as crisp. And as the ball kind of dies, so does our offense and kind of let us on a downward spiral there. Coach, what can you say, uh, again, to kind of to belabor what Cooper was talking about in terms of the effort of your team all year? What can you say about your seniors uh, and your entire class? <laughs> There's not much to say. Unreal. Best face up kind of country. So last month, this kid. I think it's hard. Oh, it's hard. Words don't do it justice. Max, your thoughts? I mean, <clears throat> again, just us seniors, we've been such a tight group since our freshman year. We've been, like, always hanging out with each other every single day. We live right next to each other. We're always with each other day in and day out. And we've just been promising ourselves, like, this is our moment, this is our moment. And it's just, just to see how much we've grown since our freshman year, uh, it's just, it's just so surreal to us that now, now it's gone. It, it's just, it's something not to admit. We never thought it was going to happen, but I mean, here we are now. Ryan, let's cap it off with you. You say you come here for one year. What has this year really meant to you? It's meant everything. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. You never know how you're going to be perceived as someone coming in. There's friendships. Um, there's you know people live together. You, you don't know the social groups as well. But I felt really welcome right away. And from day one in the fall, I could tell. The senior leadership was there, and there's a reason they were all voted captains uh, unanimously. And I just, you know, rode the wave behind them, you know, kind of rode their coattails all the way through here. Uh, I'm really proud that I was able to have my last year and do something special with this group. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much, and congratulations on a great season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.